Do we get magic chickens? We better get some magic chickens, otherwise it's the most useless building I've built. So far. Anyway, I'm sure I'll find other useless buildings to build. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Ostrov, where our growing town persists, although I can't really shake the nagging feeling that they're all going to die soon. But then, that's how I feel about most of my town builders. Something I wanted to address immediately that came up in the comments of the last Ostrov was the granary. So nobody's putting anything in the granary, and I thought, well, that's probably because they just have other places to put it. They're keeping it at the farm, they're keeping it at the market, but no, somebody very astutely pointed out that I have everything set to zero. So as far as the town is concerned, granary has reached its limits. It has zero out of the required zero things that it wants in there. I don't know... What is our max capacity here? Like, how much can the granary hold? I have no idea. What if we said 250 pieces of buckwheat can live here, and then we did the same for everything else? So 250, 250, 250 on buckwheat, potatoes, and wheat. I, I don't know. Is that a little? Is that a lot? I don't really know. But hopefully one way or the other, they'll start taking some stuff over to the granary and storing it there. We've got our trade center put together. So our trading post here, um, we are exporting thatch and, of course, potatoes because this is a very potato-centric town. Now, we're not importing things. And then again, in the comments, thank you again to the comments section. You guys are kind of holding my hand through this, as indeed most games on the channel. We don't have a manager set up. So we have a worker. We have a guy who I guess is doing the exporting, but a manager would be in charge, as I am led to understand it, in charge of the importing. So let's open up that job slot. We probably don't have anyone available to work that job. We're kind of at full employment here in our little town, but hopefully somebody will move in. We do have a new house under construction. So right here, we've got still quite a few resources left to go to get this under construction, but a new house is being put together, hopefully to attract some new migrants. The farm is ticking along nicely. That's good. I wouldn't mind seeing another farm in the near future. Probably a bit too late in the season to do it now. It's already April. The growing season is coming to a close sooner rather than later. But I would like to address everyone's finicky food variety issue. Now, what, what's your problem over here? Uh, you Oh, you completed emptying. Oh, well, then stop doing that, please. Yeah, stop emptying. Start um, unemptying. Putting things in it. Filling. That's the word. That's the opposite of emptying. So there's a bunch of food variety that we could get going. What we have is a farm. We don't have anything with animals. We have no chickens, we have no cows, we have no pigs, and we have nowhere to kill all of them and chop them up into delicious, delicious bacon. I'm looking at you, pigs. I'm looking at you. Oh, hang on. A messenger. A, a messenger. What, what do you, oh, oh, you have, like, trade things. You're visiting. Oh, good. I need lots of stuff. Primarily iron, which you have. I have potatoes. Would you like to trade iron for potatoes? Because I'd be really into that. Okay, so they've got 2,000 iron, which I could buy for 240. I have 240, but it doesn't look like I have the storage for 200 or 2,000 iron, rather. So I need more storage. Where does iron get stored? I'll have to check the, the warehouse thingy-majiggy tab thing. How about if I just bought 50? I'd like to buy 50 of those, please. You can have that. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we're importing iron. Okay, great. Would you like to buy... What do, what do I have, really? I mean, apart from potatoes, which I've got quite a bit of... Um, yeah, you know what? I have... a thousand potatoes in storage right now. This is a terrible idea, but I'm going to sell you 500 of them. I'm going to sell you 500. I'll get 80 out of that. So off you go. I'm pretty sure we just did some trading. We are importing 50 iron, which is not as much as I need. I need a lot more than that, but I need to figure out how to increase my storage. 
we are exporting 500 of our finest potatoes to you. Um, this is, this is I- ideally good. I believe this is good. Oh, no, I have the storage. I have the storage. I just haven't set it up, much like the granary. So here's our 50 iron that we can allegedly store in here. Um, what if we said 500? How about 500? I don't know what your max capacity is. I, I'm looking for something on this little tab here that says you can store 5,000 things here. That's what I'm looking for. And I, I don't, I don't see anything like that, but hope, I mean, that those are some good numbers. 500 is a perfectly good number. It's one of my favorite numbers. Now, Back to food variety. So what if we started out simple with just, oh, I should get the windmill too. What if we started out with just a chicken coop? How about just a chicken coop? Just a simple, ordinary chicken coop. I would like actually for there to be more houses here, but I'm willing to sacrifice some of the aesthetics of my town in favor of everybody staying alive slightly longer. So how about we popped that right here. There you go. Uh, go ahead and get a chicken coop going. Can't possibly take that much for a chicken coop. No, it takes a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff. And how are we actually doing on the house? Okay, progress is being made. A couple of other things that came up in the comments is the consensus is we actually can't do any fishing until we have a fishing boat. See, I was thinking they just sort of stand on the dock and fish, and a, a boat would be a luxury item where, I don't know, they could gather more fish at one time or something. I feel, I know it's only April, I feel it's actually too late in the ste season to start messing around with this now. I feel I should focus on more migrants coming in plus more food production, because that's going to be critical. If we have more people coming in, we need more food to feed them. So I might have to back burner the whole getting fish out of the river scenario until next year. I know that sounds ridiculous. It's only April, but it's going to take them ages to build all this stuff. One other last thing that came up in the comments was the women's jobs versus men's jobs, because we're not very open and egalitarian here in Austria. There are apparently some jobs that only women will do, particularly the farm. Somebody had said, hey, why don't you make sure that in those women-specific jobs, if a woman can do them, make sure only women can be hired in those buildings. Now, I know that's down here somewhere. Yeah, higher options. So how about there were no men working on the farm? That way the men can go do the men-only jobs. So in forestry, women can't work there. So let's make sure there are no men working on the farm so that the forestry can be full of big, burly, masculine men cutting down trees. I mean, in my mind, a woman can cut down a tree just as easy as a man can, and all it takes is an axe and a little time and willpower. But hey, I guess in, in whatever year we're in right now, 1723, uh, you need, you need to have a beard to go work on the forestry area. Now there's the market. That's women only too. Well, it can be women only. Let's make sure there are no men working in the market. Women only there, please. That's probably smart because you're talking about handling money there. Don't trust men to do that. Now, in the trading post, this is another place where I don't have a limit set up. How about if we did that? Can we do that? Now, okay, they are starting to take some thatch to the trading post. I've got to feel that's good. I've got to feel that's a good thing. Um, they finished the house. Good. That means they're going to get started on the chicken coop. Yeah, they're already getting some materials on the way over there. My two masculine, burly builders down there are getting this thing going. Well, then I should really queue up the slaughterhouse. I feel that's, you know, the next logical thing that happens here. I hate to queue up all these buildings because it's just chewing up resources that we don't necessarily have. But, oh, a new family settling town. Oh, good. Welcome, guys. Would one of you like to kill animals for a living? Because that's coming. Uh, oh, messenger is visiting. Hang on, hang on. Slow it down there, Ostrov. Oh, no, no, come back, come back. Mess messenger, yes. You are offering live chickens and hemp. That sounds like a wild weekend in New York. Wheat, honey. Oh, honey would be good. We don't have honey. Can we make honey? Are there beehives in this game? I didn't really look very closely. Um, you would, however, would you would not mind buying some buckwheat. 
I would like to sell you some buckwheat. I've got quite a bit of it. If I'm honest, you're not paying a lot for it. How about if I sold you? I have a thousand I can sell. How about if I sold you, um, like say, you know, come, come here, come here, 500, 500 buckwheat. I don't have a windmill anyway, so there's not a heck of a lot I can do about this. I'm going to sell you that and I'm going to, how much are your chickens going for? Ooh, no chick. Oh, I have to have a chicken coop. You can't just bring me the chickens. Okay, well, we'll probably have to talk to you next year or something, but we'll make a little money out of that, so that's not bad. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now the warehouse is filling up with things. How's the granary doing? Uh, yeah, there are some things in the granary. Excellent. Well, we just sold a lot of that buckwheat, so no surprise there isn't any in there. Good. All right, so I got to remember to set those limits on these storage buildings. When that comes up, everybody is whining about food variety. I am, guys, working on it. All right, I am working on it. I don't have a chicken coop yet. When we have a chicken coop, we can have chickens. And then when we get a slaughterhouse, we can kill the chickens and turn them into chicken nuggets. Then you will have chicken nuggets and potatoes. Basically chicken nuggets and french fries. It's like you're going to live it at a McDonald's. You know what I'm going to set up because it costs me nothing to do it is another clay pit. Sort of over here. Because the other one is way over there, and we're building a lot of stuff down here now. So I feel it would not be a bad idea if we had another clay pit, maybe right next to forestry. Maybe that could live right there next to the forestry area. Why not? Go get some clay out of there. It'll be a lot closer for you to get materials to this section of town, and it costs me nothing to do it. Yeah, construction is completed. You don't even construct it. You just start digging and hope to find some clay in there somewhere. How are we doing on the chicken issue? Okay, all resources are collected. Excellent. Good. I, I bet you this is going to be like a women's only job too, or at least I can make it that way. Yeah, you guys build that and then get to work on the slaughterhouse. I should check. Slow it down there a little bit, Ostriff. How's our employment rate these days? We did just have that new family come in. We've got 19 out of 25 adults working. We have one open vacancy. The problem is we have no housing again. We're out of housing uh, once again. No surprise there. It's really sort of put up a production building, put up a house, put up a production building, put up a house, because every production building that I put up needs people to man it, and we never have enough houses. I'm going to let them get the chicken coop and then the slaughterhouse done, and then we're looking at another new house. Where are we at? It's June. Okay. I have a plan to do the fishing dock in winter, build it in winter, and then, you know, it can be ready to go in the spring. Everybody wants food variety. We're working on the chicken nugget scenario. Don't worry, guys. Now, here's something I hadn't thought of. Am I going to automatically have chickens? Or am I going to have to buy chickens from the outside to kind of get the stock started? Do we get magic chickens? We better get some magic chickens, otherwise it's the most useless building I've built so far. Anyway, I'm sure I'll find other useless buildings to build. Um, well, we're about done with this. There goes the roof. And then, okay, slow it down. Do we have magic chickens? Yeah, I want, I want magic chickens. Okay, first of all, let's get some workers. Let's just get women working in here and then oh somebody's already applied for the job and has been hired what do we do here i want okay i can't plus or minus this i feel i need to buy chickens from the outside world before anything is going to happen with this which makes a degree of sense i mean i was looking for magic chickens but you know it's not that magical in this land all right and wait for another trading messenger to come by Ugh. All right, well, the food variety is going to take longer than I thought, folks. A little bit longer than I thought. I see in preparation for this, though, the worker is bringing in wheat and water to feed the non-existent but potential chickens. That's good. Well, I'm glad we're growing wheat then. I didn't even think that would be something for the animals to eat. I didn't know how in-depth this was going to be. But yes, obviously, the animals need food as much as the people do. I need another farm. If I'm going to increase my animal production, then I need more food to feed them. Oh, I'm glad I did the second clay, bit. clay pit. Yeah, this guy's just hopping right over here. That's a lot faster than having to walk all the way to the front of town to get this. Right. 
It's obviously too late in the year to do another farm, but I have to think about that for the future. Maybe over here, if I could squeeze that in there. Obviously, I want everything to be as close as possible so nobody has to go very far to get anything, but I'm going to have to branch out at some point. Maybe right here. This might be a really good spot for a farm. Right in here, we'll, um, you know, grow some things. And thinking about animal food, I'm going to get one of these hay dryer things going along around here somewhere. I feel animals eat hay. I'm no farmer. I'm no animal expert. But to my knowledge, animals eat hay. So I'm going to plunk that down actually kind of right on the corner here is what I'd like because this seems to be in my mind where the animals are going to be. So what if we put the hay dryer thing right there? People can dry their hay in, in that area and then give it to the animals. Right. Um, I want to put up more production-y things, but we also have to deal with the full employment issue. So we kind of need another house kicking along soon. But then there's just going to be more people whining about not having enough food variety. I feel potatoes are good enough, but apparently not. So what if we had... Where do I want, I, I, I want, I want this to look the way I want it to look. All right. Um, I think one more house here, and then I'm going to designate a new neighborhood of sorts somewhere. So let's get one more house on this street. I don't know what the street is called, but it's clearly a street. You can live right there. That's going to take them ages to get onto that. Although, saying that out loud, you're already almost done with the slaughterhouse that will kill nothing at all because we have no chickens. Well, now that I've got the manager in the trading post, instead of waiting for a messenger to come by, can I now go out to the world and, and do my trading myself? If I send, oh wow, 95 to send a messenger. 95 for a messenger. I'll wait. I'll wait for someone to come by. It's fine. Well, they're done with the slaughterhouse. Let's see what this entails. Oh, it's just cows and pigs. Okay. I have chickens. I don't have cows and pigs. Actually, I don't have chickens. But this is not really going to be that helpful. Not, not right now, anyway. Okay. Get building the house, please, because I've got other ideas I want to do here. I'd like to do another forestry building up here. I don't have the manpower to staff that. It's a little silly, but I'd like to get that done for the same reason I put the clay pit down over here. It's just going to speed up getting resources to buildings if things are all up that area and all up the other area. That's my thought. Anyway, you just brought some clay over here. Good job. We need a lot more stuff. Well, that being the case, I may as well queue up cows or pigs. Six of one, half dozen of the other, as far as I'm concerned. Well, no, there's bacon. So, pigs first. Uh, let's get a pigsty living sort of here-ish. That's going to take you ages to get built. What are we in now? August? Okay. How are we doing on the house? Still a bunch of stuff to get over there. So, house, pigsty. Then, by that point, it's probably going to be at minimum October. Then we get started on the fishing dock. What's your problem? Soil is exhausted. Oh, God, that's right. I have to think about soil quality. Uh, go to farm. Uh, don't plow this field. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do to you. Well, they're digging up some more potatoes right now. So I'm going to basically deactivate these or plow them. I, I know there's something I have to do with that, but I don't remember. Messenger, however. Do you have chickens? You do not. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. You have pigs, but you're going to tell me I don't have anywhere to put them, right? Yeah, no pigsty built in town. That's unfortunate because I'd really like to buy some pigs. Everyone's complaining about food variety. I could give them bacon and potatoes. That sounds delicious. I don't really have anything else to be selling you. I kind of need the charcoal. Do you want to buy some buckwheat? I mean, you don't not want to buy some buckwheat. I'm selling you all our buckwheat. I, I, I'm going to sell you what I can anyway. I'm selling you all of that. I don't know what, if anything, we're using it for, so I'm selling all of it to you. 
So I'm going to deactivate the fields. Is that... I know there's something I'm supposed to do to, like, let one of them lie fallow. I, I know that's a thing. I am pretty sure that's a thing in farming where you, you you let it just rest for a season. I should have been rotating these. This is where I feel it's all going to start collapsing. This this is this is where I feel it's all going to hell. Um, I should just demolish it and start all over again. Well, the potato field after being harvested does not say that it's exhausted. So, ah, there it is, fallow. Okay, that's what I wanted. I mean, I don't. I need food, but that's kind of what I wanted. You're not saying you're exhausted, though. How about you keep growing potatoes? How about that? Um, we are, however, going to activate all of these, but we're going to change these to fallow. I'm pretty sure that's a word in farming that's important. I'm probably not doing that correctly. I wait to be corrected in the comments. I really need another farm going. Well, they are starting to work on the house, but it's already September. By the time they're done with that, it's going to be October. I am moving forward, right or wrong, probably wrong, with my plan for the whole boathouse thing. Uh, where does that live again? I know it's in here somewhere. Boatyard. There we go. It's not even that resource heavy to put it up. It's a bunch of wood and some nails. That's not that bad. And I can put this almost anywhere along here. Uneven. It'll fit right there. Okay, somebody start to work on that. I That seems like that might have been the stupidest thing that I can do, but no, 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 no. I've done way stupider game things in Town Builders. That, that can't be the stupidest thing I've done. But I figure boats plus fishing dock means fish next year. It's not chicken nuggets. I know that. Chicken nuggets are inherently better than fish. But it'll be something. I do notice nobody is complaining about not having water like they were the last time. We put a second well up here, and that does seem to be keeping people satisfied in that regard. Who are you? Why are you coming in my town? You're a wagon. Where are you going? What, what What's your goal here? Oh, you're trading. Okay, you're bringing in, or you're coming to get the, the things that I sold you. Buckwheat? Did I sell you buckwheat? I'm pretty sure I sold you buckwheat. Buckwheat's a fun word to say. That house is almost done. Then they'll start working on the fishing dock. One of these days, I'll unpause the cart parking. Sorry, no, they're going to work on the pigsty next. Is it worth it? I, it is, because then I could get pigs. Eventually, if another trader shows up, I could just send somebody out to trade. But boy, at 95 a pop, that's not cheap. Oh, somebody's dead. Somebody's dead. Apparently, Ivan is dead. He's died of old age. And people are a little fussy about that because there's nowhere to bury him. You're not wrong about that game. That is a little fussy. I would be most, most concerned if somebody died and we had nowhere to put them. Right. So you're going to want that then, are you? Well, here's the thing, guys. We're kind of working on the whole pigsty thing. And then the fishing boat area where you make the boats that go the fishing. And then I guess we got to deal with dead people. Okay, hang on. I'm going to pause the fishing, the boatyard, rather. Pause that, please. Okay, you'll get the, the pigsty done. Let's just finish that. Now, where are you going to want to bury people? Is that religion? I bet I think that's religion. Yeah, burial plot. Okay, it costs me nothing. That's great. That's great. You know what? Just for aesthetics and, and storytelling and lore, the small chapel costs me virtually nothing. How about the church? Oh, the church costs stone. We don't do that yet. Yeah, we're not into stones right now. We will be later. That's another production building that we could put up. And 32,000 pieces of wood. Yeah, we're doing a small chapel. We, we like our religion on the tiny side around here. It's just tiny, tiny, tiny church. Tiny church lives right there. I know that's a building I don't need to build because they have no demand for it. But hey, you know what? Someday they will. Someday they'll have a demand for it. And we'll be we'll be front and center with the tiny, tiny church. Um, that can go there. No, no, keep, keep those coming, please. Thank you. Well, progress is being made on the useless pigsty, but there's a messenger. I don't see... Oh, you have chickens. You have chickens. I have a chicken coop. Would you like to trade something for anything at all? 240. I can't even afford that many chickens. I could afford some chickens. I can't... Can't afford all your chickens, but I could afford, say, 
five chickens at 12 per chicken. This is going to gut my money. But deal. Sold. What could I sell you? What do I have? I have a, I have, do I have more buckwheat? Really? That's, that's not going to cover anything at all. But go ahead and sell it. I think I sold that. I don't think I have that much buckwheat. But whatever it is, I sold it to you. More importantly, chickens. Okay, uh, chicken person. When, whenever you're ready, get the chickens in here. I think it takes them a while to get over here. We've got seven months of food and water in here. That's going to be just fine. Just fine. Well, the blacksmith is keeping up with the nails. Nails are happening. He seems to have figured out to go out and get his own charcoal when he needs it. That iron's ticking down again, but we'll see if we can do another order for that. I want to make sure we've just got some of these other things, specifically the metal parts. Um, yeah, 50. I need it to Adrian Monk up. 50. Thank you. Um, so some metal parts, just so if we do need to do repairs, eventually we can do that. I should unpause that cart parking. That would give the carpenter something to do. The carpenter's doing squat right now. Why don't you, why don't you go away? Why don't you go find something else to do? We have zero carpentry to be doing at this time. So no real reason for you to be working there. Maybe go off and be a builder or are, are these my chickens coming in? Are, hang on, hang on. Are these my chickens? Can I see? Can I see? I can't see what you've got in your cart. You may or may not have chickens. I may or may not be excited about your approach. Oh yeah, we got chickens. He dropped them right off. There's my five chickens. Five chickens is what I've got here. Um, now what do we do with them? I, I don't really know what to do with them. They apparently they don't go to the slaughterhouse. That's just cows and pigs. Do we just sell them directly to people? I should accumulate more chickens before I start selling them off. I've got five. I'm hoping four of them are female and one of them is male. I did not have that ability to place that order. It would have been nice to say, you know, mixed genders, please, so we can biologically create more chickens. I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on it and see how things go. Is there a place, just for reference, in the market where, you know, um, we can we can put chickens? We're not doing anything with fish. Chicken meat, yes. Okay. I guess maybe the lady who works at the chicken coop can just kill her own chickens without dragging them next door to the slaughterhouse. Okay. You know, another thought I just had while I was thinking about the smithy. He doesn't make horseshoes, but he could. We don't have any horses, but we could sell horseshoes. We could sell horseshoes to another town. Just try and see if you can get... Oh, you're, you're out of charcoal again. Okay, it's right here, man. It's right here. Make that empty. Which also makes me think of the warehouse idea. Like, do we need to be storing firewood and wood here? I gotta check more closely the next messenger who turns up. See if other towns would buy something that is low effort, like clay. Clay is easy. I mean, the wood is pretty easy, too. I'm gonna have to look at selling people more wood. In fact, because I don't have any sort of capacity for this building. Why don't you have... Like a thousand pieces of wood in here at any one point. And you know what? Give me the same for, for iron or firewood too, rather. Firewood is what I'm meaning to say there. Let's put a thousand firewood in there. Let's try and sell as much as we can sell to anyone who will buy it right now. Because we've got 112 gold. And that is not going to buy me a lot of pigs, which means we're not going to have a lot of bacon. Speaking of bacon, it's been about, ooh, almost a month, lady. Have you made any more chickens? You cur Oh, you have a hatchling. You have a hatchling. Great. So the potential for chickens is coming. Good. And we've got chicken eggs. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow it down there, Ostrich. We've got eggs. Can we put eggs in the market? Um, get, get rid of fish. We don't need fish. I don't immediately see chicken eggs. There we go. Put chicken eggs in here. Sell those. I know we've got like six of them, but that's six eggs that people can have and maybe they'll stop whining about the food variety problem. Should we be putting those in the granary too? Do you take chicken eggs? You do. You do. 
I mean, we don't we don't have that capacity right now. They can just go right to market. We don't need to be putting them in the granary. We don't. We've got eight eggs at this time, so I think you can just sort of pop them in your hand and carry them over to the market. But we'll have to think about that for the future. Okay, I'm starting to get a feel for how we might make money in the future by selling things that we don't really need or that is really low effort, like clay and wood. It's probably not going to be very valuable, but it'll generate some money. We've got the pigsty up and running. Okay, good. There's no livestock. I'm aware of that. We don't actually have any yet. I wonder if I have to put a worker in here to be able to accept pigs when I buy them. I'm going to open up the slot anyway, just in case that's the case. I don't want to get into the trading and then they say, ah, you don't have a worker in your pigsty. We're not going to sell you any of our fine pigs. Well, there we go. My tiny, tiny church is all set. And I put a bunch more burial plots around here because it's not like that's the only guy who's going to die in my town. Lots of people are going to die around here. We're probably going to need a much bigger graveyard. But that is probably an excellent place to call it on Ostrov for today. I Things are happening. They're just happening very slowly. We've got a slightly different food source in place in that we have eight eggs. So eight people will have a tiny, tiny bit of food variety, but we're making progress in that direction. I've unpaused the fishing dock, not the fishing dock, the boat yard. So hopefully next year we can actually have fish that's been unused for a full year now. But things are progressing. I still am having a hard time shaking that feeling that it's all going to collapse at any point. We'll just have to see. We'll pick it up some with some more Ostrib next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do... Please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. So, all right. Well, we got a gun. Good. We got a gun and a hat. So I, I think we're ready to take on the wasteland at this point. We've got one gun and a hat. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there, but I've got my silly hat on, so that's working out for me. I think we're we're officially farming at this point. I, I think yeah, look, 99%, 98%. Yeah, we're we're farming now.